Hello, it's, um, I think it's April 6th or 7th, uh, here in Cork, Ireland in 2020. It was a sunny, beautiful day today, uh, in the springtime. Very grateful for that during this coronavirus bullshit. Um, so, this afternoon I wanted to make a quick little video because I got fan mail from somebody who saw my little video about working with uh, the MGM screen legend Myrna Loy many, many years ago in New York City. Well, someone named C.V. Um, generously wrote to me and said that they would like to hear more about um, my work with uh, Myrna Loy. So I got to thinking, I do remember another anecdote about working with her. Um, and she was lovely. She just a, a wonderful talent uh, as an actress and, and as a person, too. She, she was terrific. Um, I remember she loved telling these stories. And, of course, I was so starstruck and all, you know. And uh, uh, I remember uh, I, I had been a big fan of her career in the Thin Man series, for which she was very famous, of course. Uh, but she was also in the um, uh, highly acclaimed and Academy Award winning film, The Best Years of Our Lives, with uh, Frederick March. Um, and she was also in a movie, one of my favorites, in 1950 called Cheaper by the Dozen with Clifton Webb and uh, Jean Crane, I think, played one of the oldest uh, daughters. Um, and it was a, a movie based on a true life story about a family with 12 children, the Gilbreth family, I think. And um, fussy old uh, Clifton Webb played the father and all, and um, uh, Myrna played uh, Lillian Gilbreth, I think was her name. And it's just a delightful comedy, and I would highly recommend, if you haven't seen it, it's still a wonderful picture, 70 years later. Yeah, um, but the story that I'm getting to is um, when we were in rehearsal with uh, Myrna in uh, New York City in, oh, it must have been 1978, I think, um, for a British comedy called um, uh, Relatively Speaking. Uh, uh, I was her gopher. That, that was my job, was to take good care of uh, Myrna Loy, whatever she needed or wanted. And she wasn't terribly high maintenance. She wasn't a diva, I remember. I would pick her up at her Manhattan Brownstone apartment and bring her to the... Um, I think we were rehearsing on the Upper West Side at the Ansonia Hotel rehearsal studios. I'm not sure if the Ansonia Hotel is even there anymore. But anyway, so... Uh, in between rehearsals, at rehearsal breaks and all, I would, you know, try to get uh, Myrna to tell these wonderful stories about her career at MGM and in Hollywood and all. And I remember when I was talking to her about uh, when she was making the film with um, Clifton Webb, uh, um, uh, Cheaper by the Dozen, our, our director, uh, my employer, my boss, uh, Phil Osterman, I think he overheard the conversation and Phil was annoyed at me because I was just in my 20s that I knew so much more about Myrna's uh, Hollywood biography than Phil did, who was in his 40s by then, 40s, 50s, I don't know how old. I remember he was a little bit irked that who is this young queen who knows all this stuff about Myrna Loy and old Hollywood and all, but that's who I was. I grew up on old movies and all. So that's one of the memories I have. And, and Myrna laughed. She thought that was funny as well. So be fabulous.